An ion thruster, ion drive, or ion engine is a form of electric propulsion used for spacecraft propulsion. An ion thruster creates a cloud of positive ions from a neutral gas by ionizing it to extract some electrons from its atoms. The ions are then accelerated using electricity to create thrust. Ion thrusters are categorized as either electrostatic or electromagnetic. Electrostatic thruster ions are accelerated by the Coulomb force along the electric field direction. Temporarily stored electrons are re-injected by a neutralizer in the cloud of ions after it has passed through the electrostatic grid, so the gas becomes neutral again and can freely disperse in space without any further electrical interaction with the thruster. By contrast, electromagnetic thruster ions are accelerated by the Lorentz force to accelerate all species. Free electrons as well as positive and negative ions in the same direction, whatever their electric charge, and are specifically referred to as plasma propulsion engines, where the electric field is not in the direction of the acceleration. Ion thrusters in operation typically consume 1 to 7 kilowatts of power, have exhaust velocities around 20 to 50 kilometers per second, and possess thrusts of 25 to 250 millinewtons and a propulsive efficiency 65 to 80 percent, though experimental versions have achieved 100 kilowatt, 5 newtons. The Deep Space One spacecraft, powered by an ion thruster, changed velocity by 4.3 kilometers per second while consuming less than 74 kilograms of xenon. The Dawn spacecraft broke the record, with a velocity change of 11.5 km per second, though it was only half as efficient, requiring 425 kg of xenon. Applications include control of the orientation and position of orbiting satellites, used as a main propulsion engine for low-mass robotic space vehicles, and serving as propulsion thrusters for crewed spacecraft and space stations. Ion thrust engines are generally practical only in the vacuum of space as the engine's minuscule thrust cannot overcome any significant air resistance without radical design changes, as may be found in the atmosphere breathing electric propulsion concept. The Massachusetts Institute of Technology has created designs that are able to fly for short distances and at low speeds at ground level, using ultra-light materials and low-drag aerofoils. An ion engine cannot usually generate sufficient thrust to achieve initial liftoff from any celestial body with significant surface gravity. For these reasons, spacecraft must rely on other methods, such as conventional chemical rockets or non-rocket launch technologies to reach their initial orbit. Ion thrusters use beams of ions, electrically charged atoms or molecules to create thrust in accordance with momentum conservation. The method of accelerating the ions varies, but all designs take advantage of the charge by mass ratio of the ions. Ion thrusters are categorized as either electrostatic or electromagnetic. The main difference is the method for accelerating the ions. Electrostatic ion thrusters use the Coulomb force and accelerate the ions in the direction of the electric field. Electromagnetic ion thrusters use the Lorentz force to accelerate the ions in the direction perpendicular to the electric field. Gridded electrostatic ion thrusters development started in the 1960s, and since then, they have been used for commercial satellite propulsion and scientific missions. Their main feature is that the propellant ionization process is physically separated from the ion acceleration process. A plasma propulsion engine is a type of electric propulsion that generates thrust from a quasi-neutral plasma. This is in contrast with ion thruster engines, which generate thrust through extracting an ion current from the plasma source, which is then accelerated to high velocities using anodes. The popular Imperial TIE fighter spacecraft from the Star Wars franchise are propelled by twin ion engines, hence the name. Ion propulsion is used by the Hermes spacecraft in the Andy Weir novel The Martian to transfer crew between Earth and Mars. That's all for today. See you in another video.